During Black History Month, we stop to remember the black inventors, artists, and activists who made incredible contributions to our country. But what about the people who get left out of the narrative? Here are just a few of the unsung heroes of civil rights and racial justice who also deserve a salute. As an activist, Polly Murray dedicated her life to civil rights, but the mainstream movement definitely didn't have the same love for her. Murray was somewhat of a civil rights hipster, desegregating a bus 15 years before Rosa Parks, and championing the idea of intersectionality before it was a buzzword. She even tried to get in with the NAACP, asking the group to support her in petitioning for entrance to UNC Chapel Hill. But Murray was intimate with women, dressed in men's clothing, and was a touch radical, so her case was rejected by the NAACP. But Murray persevered, saying one person plus one typewriter constitutes a movement. At 15, Claudette Colvin refused to give up her seat to a white woman on a bus and was arrested. Her resistance inspired the Montgomery bus boycott. However, the NAACP was concerned about choosing Colvin to help them challenge segregation laws. Due to her feisty personality, darker skin, and that she became pregnant shortly after her bus protest. So they chose Rosa Parks instead to represent the movement. But Colvin continued her own efforts to end segregation beyond the boycott, and she never held a grudge, though she did once say she felt as if she was getting her Christmas in January rather than the 25th. Ella Baker's nickname was Fundi, which comes from a Swahili word meaning a person who passes down a craft to the next generation. She did just that as a mentor for future activists like Rosa Parks, Diane Nash, and other notable names. She was appointed by Martin Luther King Jr. to head the Southern Christian Leadership Conference after her years of service at the NAACP. But her belief in a collective movement, rather than just a single leader, made her an outsider. No one wanted the male leaders of the party questioned, so she was forced to take a proverbial backseat. Baker became the ghostwriter of the civil rights movement. Her ideas were there, just not her name. Fred Hampton was just 19 when he joined the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, quickly rising as a prominent leader. As a Panther, he helped create free breakfast programs for kids, free health clinics, free political education classes, and even facilitated gang truces. Despite his great work, Hampton was framed by the FBI as a threat to American safety. He was a powerful leader and effective speaker in the black community at a time when the government was determined to prevent a cohesive black movement. If Martin Luther King Jr. was the star of the civil rights movement, Bayard Rustin was the director. Rustin is the person who taught MLK nonviolence practices and helped mold him into a leader. He was an expert organizer involved in the bus boycotts, Freedom Ride, and the iconic March on Washington. So why haven't we heard of Rustin? He was an out gay man, and many thought his sexuality detracted from his credibility as a leader. It wasn't until 2013 that Rustin was posthumously recognized for his lifelong dedication to activism. The whole point of a month of remembrance, as short as it is, is to make sure our unsung heroes don't remain unsung heroes forever. I mean, what the fuck, history?